What's up you guys, Sen here with GeekTools.net and welcome to this video unboxing of another MacBook Pro. This is the 2011 MacBook Pro here. 2.2GHz uh, quad-core processor, 4GB of RAM, but of course we will be upgrading to 8 gigs in this video. Uh, and a high resolution display, not anti-glare. We also have a 500 gigabyte, 7200 RPM hard drive. Now you guys should know that my previous MacBook Pro, another top of the line model, did suffer some bad water damage and uh, that was a year old MacBook Pro. I just didn't want to deal with it, it had some slight problems with the keyboard and the screen keeps on flickering so I said, you know what, I'm not going to replace any more parts. Um, I still have a MacBook Pro in my closet which it's going to stay there for a while. and. Um, I went out, picked up another MacBook Pro. Once again, this is a 15 inch MacBook Pro. And uh, here's the box. We're going to do this live, no editing. So it's going to be all interesting. We have the unibody i7 and the Thunderbolt port. The picture with the MacBook Pro open. And the Apple logo. Cool. So uh, I'm going to use my handy tandy multi tool and grab myself a knife here. Go ahead and slide this to reveal, well to open up the box and I'm just gonna point the camera down. Now if the audio quality is pretty crappy it's because uh, my microphone is over here and I'm talking this way so uh, I do apologize for that. Uh, here it is, MacBook Pro. Uh, it's a really heavy box by the way. I was surprised about how heavy this box was since I did have the original MacBook Pro. Uh, I really didn't expect it to be so heavy. So here it is. Uh, all wrapped in this plastic here. I'm gonna put that to the side. Really don't have any space, so I'll put it on my lap. Um, the power bar, which has this nice little cover on it. Cool. The extension cable. And the brick. So it's, I think this brick is a bit smaller than the previous generation. And it does have that really nice uh, new design to the tip. Just like the previous model. And uh, yeah, nothing really much to see here. Um, the pamphlet is a lot bigger with the instruction manual, so we'll have a look at this. I'll open it up somehow. Ugh. Okay, it's, it goes all the way through. Um, so let's have a look here. As normal, we have a cleaning cloth, uh, Apple stickers, of course, one year limited warranty. Of course, I did order Apple Care with this uh, machine. And um, all the instruction manuals. And I don't believe they included drivers. I mean, not drivers, but uh, software. Not software. What am I smoking here? Uh, Lion with this package. So we'll have to see how I'm going to get Lion to be reinstalled on this machine. So that's all that's in the box. Very well packaged, like always, in Apple style. Put everything to one side. And let's have a look at the MacBook Pro. Once again, this is the 2.2 uh, gigahertz quad-core processor. 4 gigabytes, which will be 8 gigabytes after we open up the cellophane wrapping here. Alright, let's take the condom off. Now it is a slightly well, a better package than the previous uh, generation MacBook Pros. There it is in its glorious aluminum unibody you know, design. We'll open it up right now, but of course I will be taking out the RAM before I boot it up. There it is, a 15 inch glorious display, has that MacBook Pro logo there, better keyboard, um, nice overall. So we're not even going to boot it up right now, we're going to switch out the memory. So we're going to go ahead and grab my handy dandy toolkit here. And uh, this toolkit is very good because it has the T6 screwdriver and also a bunch of other different types of screwdrivers. If you guys are wondering what the T6 screwdriver does, it is a special screwdriver to gain access to uh, special components in this computer. And I do have that screwdriver available if I need to take out such things as the logic board or uh, anything else in general. So, just take these screws out. Uh, gonna fast forward this part. Alright, after removing all the screws, we just pop open the lid, which is fairly tight, and you just need to use a little bit of force. 
Um, inside this machine, as you can see, we have the battery here, two fans to cool down the machine. The RAM module is here. There is a keyboard connector here for the backlit. There is the keyboard and trackpad uh, connections over here. The main power connection there. Display connection. Hard drive connection. The uh, optical drive connection here. And the uh, EyeSight HD webcam connections over here. So, uh, that's all cool. Now, I was thinking, because I've opened up my uh, previous MacBook Pros, that you can switch out the logic board. And um, just basically, instead of buying a whole new computer, you can just switch out the logic board and put in whatever specs you want. But uh, looking at this new design, it, it can't really be done. I see some parts of the machine that is slightly different. So, um, if you guys were thinking about that like I was, uh, you cannot do that. So, um, got everything open. I'm just going to go ahead and take out the old RAM modules. Now, these are crappy, flimsy RAM modules. Uh, just going to give you guys a quick look here at what they do. They're, they're okay, but they're not what I want. Obviously, I want to go with the full awesomeness. So, I'm going to upgrade it to 8 gigabytes of memory. Uh, the memory I have right now is the Corsair uh, laptop memory. I don't know exact, whatever. Uh, 8 gigabytes, 1333, 1333, yes, that is correct. Uh, megahertz, clock speed. And uh, just pop these guys out here. There's one of them. And there's another one. So, to install them, just make sure you have the tips in correctly, just basically slide them in like so, make sure they're fully in, alright, same as for the top one, and that should be all. So I'm going to put the computer back together, and uh, here we go, fast forward. Alright, so uh, we got all the screws back on. Here is once again the memory modules I just took out. Pretty flimsy, pretty crappy looking. And uh, we'll have a look at the I.O. first before I unbox it. Here's the I.O. We have the power, Ethernet, uh, Firewire, and this is a new Thunderbolt port, two USBs, SD, and the audio. We also have a battery indicator here, fully charged. And uh, we'll boot this machine up and see how it goes. So make sure everything is in frame here. Boot it up here and uh, everything should be good. Hopefully. That's a good sound. I like that sound a lot. Then there's the Apple logo. I know it's a little late to get uh, this model since I bet the new ones are going to come out in a couple months. But I really don't care, you guys. Uh, so don't post comments below, and don't ask me if you guys can have my old MacBook Pro. You know I won't give it to you. Uh, so yeah, here it is, booting up. Nice. <clears throat> First boot up is always slow, so we'll see. It has that HD webcam, which I'm really excited about. And a uh, battery on my uh, camcorder is running out, so uh, I'm just going to really <laughs> try to go quickly here. Alright. Nice and long loading time. That's exactly what I want. And there's nothing on the screen. Interesting. Ah, there we go. English. Yes, I speak English. I am in Canada. I have a US keyboard, at least that's what I use. Um, wireless network, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna continue, not yet. Continue. Don't transfer, I agree. And I'm gonna not register yet. Uh, count information. Sunny Yao. Master Sunny. Oh, ask me for a password. Ok, 
Wait. Jesus, come on. All right. So um, that's pretty much it. It's just creating my account. We should be in line. And okay, I don't want to take a screenshot. Well, you guys can see my camera set up while we're at it. There it is. The uh, Canon Vixia HFS20. Great camcorder. Uh, I don't want to take a picture. Uh, I'll go with the uh, Hawk because I'm awesome like that. And uh, Jesus, I don't care. All right, scroll right. That's great. Let's start using Lion. And that is it. We are in Lion. We are all my brand new 15-inch MacBook Pro. Hope you guys enjoy the unboxing and uh, RAM upgrade video. If you guys have any more questions or comments, don't hesitate to post a comment below. Email me sunny at mastersunny.com. You can visit my website geektools.net. And um, that's pretty much it. Please rate, comment, and subs yeah, subscribe. And you guys have a great day. Peace out.